So hello everybody, this time we have a problems with the Mercedes. As you can see, the problem is with the electronic braking control system, which called this SBC. And uh, SBC uh, have a problem and it's like uh, got this CLS, got the limit of uh, SBC usage. So this is a 350. Uh, so that whole engine, good one. I love this frame, it's no frame, window door. Uh, lovely stuff. Now we are already connecting to the uh, vehicle by the OBD mode and it's now utilization. As you can see, it's utilization the system. The voltage is a little bit low, 11.4 volts. So that means we need to plug the charger on and then we then uh, do the coding. Now it's checking the coding stuff. So um, we can provide the SBC reset by the OBD mode. So when we are into the systems, uh, what we like to do is actually, we want to do uh, stuff about the control units. Okay, so just pop in into the control units. You can accept it by just uh, pressing the F3 button or just clicking like that. And uh, we go straight into the control units. Without the problems, you need to take just chassis and again go by F3 because you are getting into the chassis modules and it's called SBC Sensotronic Brake uh, Control Unit. Okay, so it's going high, uh, go inside of uh, SBC control unit. Now, moment the old data is being loading in. The next thing is you definitely need to read the fault codes okay just pop in and see what kind of fault codes do we have and actually we have only one code which one is 23 fave a check component as better hydraulic unit currently and store it only one fault code after you read the fault codes you need to go to the let's go to the list called development data Okay, it's down there, it's just on the bottom. You must click on this one and let's go accept development data. We go straight into the development data, it's been read. So wait till it's read now and then it gives you the systems and you need to go to actuations, okay? Uh, you can go fault memory, but you go to the actuations. After that, you go to complete index of actuations. Go by F3 and we're loading up the all full list of all functions, which one you just can imagine. OK, but I will tell you which one you go next. So the, the, the thing which one you need is just this DJ set five time new. OK, click on this one. And then just go and click F3. And when you are in here, you just need to click in here, button zero. Okay, just click zero. And after that, just accept it. So let go to the F3. And the results will show you. Okay, perfect. That's done. Then you go back. Moving on to the next one is um, you need, let me show you, you need this one, okay? DJ set and BR, okay? So click F3 and all do the same. Just click zero. And when you click at zero, just click F3 and activate the function. It's done. The next one you keep going down. And uh, you need this one. It's pretty far down. You just go all this down and DG cock live time. Okay, click. Okay. So when you are in, again the same, you just click zero, zero, and the same, you again click F3. So accept, and result is done. And then again, you go uh, F1. And the final one. And the last one is, guess, yes, what well, we have the last one. DG, build and write F.
Okay, go F3. And all is the same. Just click 0. And just F3. And you got the result. Done. Is that not lovely? Perfect. When you finish that, just uh, go backwards. And uh, you will get right in here. Just keep going backwards. And you can go actually in here and check the fault memory. Just clicking like that. This is the one thing which you can get. Here you go. Default memory. And uh, you can actually clear default memory. Just click yes. And it will connecting. And you will definitely need to switch off ignition. Just go inside. Switch off ignition. So wait. And then it says switch on ignition. So pretty fast. Go back, switch on ignition, and that's done. Fault memory is cleared out. Perfect. No fault codes present. So that means we completely reset the SBC control unit. Just go back. And yes, we still can just read codes again. Just press F3. No fault codes present. That's perfect, isn't it? And uh, yes, so what we do now, we just exit the module go out and that's finished this is how it's done i think so at the moment thanks for watching and good luck with your mercedes programming stuff